in this video session we are discussing few topics from module 3 that is stored procedure from the subject database management system in this slide we are discussing about stored procedure what is stored procedure stored procedure are created to perform one or more dml operation on database it is nothing but the group of sql statements that accept some input in the form of parameter and perform some task and may or may not return a value depending upon the sql statement the most important part is parameter the parameter are used to pass value to the stored procedure there are different types of parameter for the stored procedure they are categorized into three different types of parameter in parameter in parameter is the default parameter for the stored procedure always receive the value from calling program out parameter this parameter always send the value to the calling program in out parameter this parameter perform both the operation means it can receive the value from the calling program and return the value to the calling program these are the three different types of parameter which can be passed to the stored procedure here we will discuss about syntax and few example of stored procedure the syntax for creating stored procedure is create procedure procedure name parameters are optional followed by sql statement we'll see one example without using parameter for creating a stored procedure example create procedure procedure name is get data i am passing sql statement is select star from student this procedure is going to return the all the attributes which are available in the student table the second example is with using parameter here i am using an in parameter the procedure is create procedure procedure name get data passing one argument that is in parameter as sid student id as integer now i am executing the query select star from student where the argument passed to the stored procedure has been checked with the n value available in the table if it is satisfied then corresponding rows are going to be written this is an example for creating a procedure without using parameter and with using parameter same way we can also use the parameter in as a one argument out as an another argument depending upon the case studies in this slide we are discussing a stored procedure with simple example which has been written by using java code the main aim of this code is used to retrieve the student name based on the student id now procedure has been created using create procedure the procedure name is get data taking one argument that is in parameter the argument name is student id of type where care and executing the query select star from student where sid is the name of the attribute which are available in the table student and uppercase sid is an argument which has passed to the procedure name if the argument has been matched with the value available in the student table then the query is going to return name of the student this is my case study the procedure has been created now i need to call from java application to the procedure in order to call a procedure we will make use of a method called prepare call 
the prepare call is a method which is belonging to the a connection interface this method is going to take one argument of type string which is going to call the procedure stored procedure that is name of the procedure is get data which is already created and taking one argument that is question mark this question mark has to be replaced by set x method where x can be represented as type of the attribute then prepare call method calls the get data based on the argument passed and the return value will be assigned to the callable statement now i want to replace this question mark by the specific value in order to replace the question mark by specific value we will use method called set x and x will be replaced by the type of attribute the type of attribute is where care so in java the where care corresponding belongs to the string so set string and which column the column index the column index of sid from the table is first so first column and what the value you want to replace with a question mark i want to replace question mark with an 4cb 16cs001 once i call the procedure i need to get the name of the student who belongs to this particular usn once the question mark has been replaced with the n value then i am going to execute a query the executed query will be result will be stored in the result set then from here the control will be transferred to the stored procedure the stored procedure is going to check out is the usn available in the table or not if usn is available in the table then procedure is going to return the name of particular usn the row has been written the result set is pointing to the particular row while the next is a method is always going to point to the current row of the table which is obtained from the query then from that in order to retrieve the value from the corresponding row i am making use of get x method where x can be replaced by type of the attribute here i am using get string of index 2 the index 2 of the table is name that result will be stored in the name then i am printing the name as ajay the output of the stored procedure is name this is a simple example to call stored procedure using java in order to retrieve student name based on the usn advantage of using stored procedure the main advantage of using stored procedure is it can encapsulate application logic while staying close to the data it can also make reuses of application logic by different user once the procedure has been created the n number of uh, uh, n number of user can make use of the same procedure in order to retrieve the specific value and avoid the tuple at the time returns of record through the cursor these are the three main advantage of using the stored procedure in this slide we are seeing the uh, calling the stored procedure by using the java as well as sql j in previous slide we have seen how the java application is going to call the stored procedure java application to call the stored procedure the function called as prepare call the method belongs to the connection interface takes one argument that is name of the procedure the name of the procedure here is show selects without any argument and the return value of this procedure will be stored to the callable statement interface once the stored procedure has been initialized then i need to execute the stored procedure in order to execute the stored procedure we will making use of execute query which is belonging to the an interface called as a callable statement interface and the result will be assigned to the result set interface this is an example of using java application now we will see the same way how we going to call stored procedure by using sql j as we already seen that seen that if any name is prefixed with an hash we'll say it as an sql j token and it making use of an iterator here i am making use of an uh, 
named iterator see we are here using in the while loop we are using the name of the token we are making use of name iterator show sellers is the name of iterator which is going to take type of the attribute and name of the attribute then once the iterator has been the creator for sqlj then i am going to call the stored procedure in order to call the stored procedure we will use a command called call and followed by name of the procedure the show seller is the name of the procedure whereas this show seller is the token name of sql j this token variable is point calling pointing to the stored procedure similarly uh, callable statement object is pointing to the stored procedure here the show seller is similar to a callable statement then i am making use of a while loop then making within the while loop we are using a next method which is pointing to the a corresponding row and the next is belongs to the token of a show sellers of sql j in this way the procedure can be called in sql j and procedure can be called in using jdbc or java application these are the two uh, two different ways where the stored procedure can be called in this slide we are discussing about SQL or PSM for stored procedure. The most DBMS allows user to write stored procedure in a simple or general purpose language. The SQL PSM standard is a representative. In order to create a stored procedure or in order to declare a stored procedure, the syntax is create procedure, name of the procedure with an argument and followed by local variable declaration and procedure code now we can we can also create apart from the procedure we can also create the function in order to create a function we will use a syntax called create function name of the function then returns the function value followed by sql data type local variable declaration and function code in detail we will see in next slide as we seen in the previous slide for creating a procedure or a function using PL, PL, sql and psm there are main constructs of sql and psm as follows local variable should be declared return value for the function assign variables to or variables with the set branches and loop if condition then statement else if condition statement else statement and if loop statement and loop queries can be part of expression can use cursor naturally without execute sql these are the parameters which can be used within a, a within a procedure or a function by making use of sql or psm based on this constraint we are going to create either procedure or a function using SQL and PSM. This slide gives the example for creating a function. In previous slide, we have seen the construct for creating a function or a procedure using SQL. Now, first step, create the function is a syntax. The name of the function is rate seller. It's taking the two argument, one argument that is in parameter the argument name is seller id of type integer the function should be always written a result the return is the keyword followed by a mode of returning the result it's taking the argument as an integer then the function should return the integer value then followed by local variables that is in rating and num res is the local variable when you want to declare a local variable then i have to make use of a keyword declare local variable name and type of the local variable after declaring the variable whenever you want to assign or initialize any a value then we need to make use of a keyword set name of the variable to this variable i am initializing the n value then based on the n SQL statement or any branching or looping statement. Here in this example, I am initializing the value to the variable num result based on the SQL statement. 
Now what the SQL statement will do? It is going to count the results based on the seller ID. Once the count is got, that result will be assigned to the variable num result. If num res then making use of a branching, if num result is greater than 10, then I'm going to return a result as 1. Otherwise, it is going to return a result as 0. Then in order to make a end for the if, then we'll make use of end if. Finally, I'm going to return the rating either 1 or 0. This is a simple example for creating a function using SQL or PSM construct, which is going to return the count of the reserve based on the seller ID. Okay, for entire slide, uh, we are referred a few textbook and the web resource. The textbook are fundamentals of database system from Navate and database management system from Raghu Ramakrishna. And the, the few web resources we are referred that is geek for geek beginnersbooks.com, tutorials point, gateway with the LA, and tutorials These are the reference which have been referred for the all the explanation. Thank you.